and you just go back to your hole because you've been met by the force which is actually testing you. Are you ready for this? So sometimes these obstacles are just like testing us, asking us questions on a deeper level. Are you really ready for what you're going forward for? Hello. Welcome, welcome to the Diaspora Entrepreneurs Podcast. I'm your host, Victor Osio. And I really want to really want to appreciate all you who have um, all you great listeners out there who have managed to like subscribe. It's just one click to who have subscribed and um, reviewed the show. I must say thank you very much. And for those who are and for those who are still who have not done this, I would say it just one click. Do me a favor and click it. And if you find out that there's anything that um, you really, really like, just um, just review that and it will be a pleasure. Send me a message either way at Victor Osio. Um, the message is Victor. Send a message to Victor at diasporachiefs.com. So today I will be talking about um, defense mechanisms. Because during this self-awareness period that I'm going through right now, something that has really crept up and it is fascinating because you barely recognize that it is there. Really fascinated about some pretty amazing defense mechanisms that are in nature. You see a sea slug, they kind of squirt out their own intestines to make vile escape. Have you, have you, it's just amazing. You see birds like peacock and um, turkeys, they ruffle, their, they, they ruffle their feathers. Small animals like bugs and frogs, they carry out poisons and colors on their back just to scare away predators and punish, and punish um, the stubborn ones. Have you seen, um, is this called, um, I think it's the porcupine that has spikes on its back. So when a predator is like, when a predator is approaching, they kind of like bulk up and the spikes kind of like um, stand, at, stand at an attention. Also, we have the infamous skunk. <laughs> yeah, we have the skunk that just like blazes everywhere with that, with that, um, with his odor and um, God help you if you're the one chasing the skunk. <laughs> Yeah. So, but when it comes to people like myself, when it comes to you and me, there are a few ways, there are a few, few defense mechanisms that we are using that we may not know, we may not be aware of, but um, I hope um, this calls you out and calls them out as well. And you become more aware because these, um, these habits we barely recognize. So I'll be talking about a few, maybe about six of them that I've uh, managed to like congregate and managed to like gather. So one is um, denial. So sometimes an event or circumstance is so, is so humongly, it's, it's, it's so devastating that we just like tune out. And, and, don't we don't even know where we are where we are doing it you can become more um, you can become more aware of denial when other people around you call something to your attention or point it out to your attention and says oi this is what you're doing right now and number 2 is repression this is sort of like um, denial but it involves burying a thought all a feeling deep inside of us, where it tends to like come out in other ways. For example, you could be furious at the, uh, you could be furious at the mistake made by your business partner, or someone did not come through with what they are supposed to do, or you you are unable to like release your anger, your frustration at your place of work or to that person or where they are in that current environment. You become uh, you become um, vitriolic and argumentative, both at work or at home. 
you know what I'm talking about, you, because I do that sometimes, you know. And number three is um, projection. It often it it's often easier to ignore our own faults. We know that, yeah, and we pretend like other people have them instead. You get. We pretend that we know. Ah, I'm so good. I don't have this kind of fault. But he, she, they all um, they all have these bad habits instead. So projector typically involves seeing something bad in other people which may not be there in the first place. So like a negative character, yeah, you can see these traits, but they might not actually be there. When really you are exhibiting that same character trait, you get me. So and number four is, um, I used to do this most times, rationalization hmm this is a huge one rationalization so this one involves typically involves taking a wrongdoing by you on others or from others to you or to you or to somebody else or you see something on you see something on tv or you see something on tv or you read something about someone or a group of people and you kind of rationalize their actions. But when it's personal, it's you want to order so on that's onto you. And you kind of rationalize, rationalize this um, this action by you onto others, or from others onto you. And you kind of reason it, uh, reason it out as um, to be okay. For me, I will justify my inadequacies. I will, I will have to like create this complex new system of logic in order to work out this one into the universe in an, in an, in an acceptable way. All sorts of crime from embezzlement to genocide, to racism, to, to, being, to being caught off in traffic. See, all kinds, you kind of have a way to rationalize it into something that has been acceptable. Whereas you know, hmm, it is not. But you find a way to just, you find a way to make it look, it's okay. But actually, it's not okay. It's a defense mechanism. So the fifth one is regression. Regression typically involves taking a step back developmentally to a space where it's physically or emotionally safe. Like, like children. They often regress as um, they as they move through as they, as they move through life, going through periods where they revert into acting like a younger child. So, adults like us, I did it for some time. Whenever I kind of hit hit a plateau or just um, hit a wall on a venture, I kind of just lose it and go back straight into my comfort zone. But there's no growth there. We all know there's no growth there. So as adults may also undergo this process as well. So you might have to just have a rethink. For example, say after you fail on your first business venture, you may kind of like revert to the safety net of looking for a paying job. Yeah, which is a strategy if you need it to get back up. So not using it as an excuse, but like, you know what, I tried it, I failed, so now I'm going back to doing what I was doing, but I don't really, really, really like. So this is where this one comes in. So you kind of like justify, you rationalize, and you just go back to your hole because you've been met by the force, which is actually testing you. Are you ready for this? So sometimes these obstacles are just like testing us, asking us questions on a deeper level. Are you really ready for what you're going forward? For? Are you really ready to stand up for yourself? Are you sure? So obstacle comes and they ask you these questions. So you kind of buck down. And the last one is um, reaction. Sometimes, the primal instincts take over. We all know the primal instinct take over. And um, when it does, we get ready for a fight. 
or flight. But mostly it's fight, you know. For men, for women as well, fight or flight. So when this reaction, when this permanency kicks in, um, stay in a situation that that don't have to that, that you don't have a lot of time, and you just kind of jump quickly, jump into the reactionary mode before reflecting and calming down. For example, if someone cuts off, cut, cuts you off in traffic, you get or someone just man. Sometimes in um, in my local Asda, I've just been I just reverse trying to like get in the perfect parking space. And some guy just coming, or you know, some girl just coming from the other side, just parks there. I'll be like, man, really, 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 really. I'll be like, really pissed off. And those kind of quick, fiery moves, you just like, sometimes, if you, sometimes you can't help it, but sometimes just like walk away the other spaces, you know? Oh, the most um, one that I used to fall fall into a lot was um, if um, an argument with my wife at home. Man, sometimes when I'm feeling when I'm feeling this the, when, I'm, when I'm in this mood, I quickly get defensive. I quickly just make make up stuff to just um, to 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 justify to rationalize and even escalate the whole situation because I'm in this mood. So for some for some time now I've been I've been more I've been more mature, more um yeah. I've been more mature in my thinking how to like be more understanding. And one of the benefits of being of being a coach Because I'm, I'm a um, certified mental strength coach, accountability and resilience, is that you kind, of, you kind of practice what you preach and you see all sorts of, um, you see all sorts of things that actually like test you if you actually believe in, in your profession, both at home or at work. So, but the thing, I understand that some of you have all these under control. But if you don't, what I would say is that you can actually like start start from here now, here and now, and be more responsible for your actions moving forward. So I have these free, these two free um, ebooks you get. So five, I have this one called Five Quick Ways um, to Clear Your Mind of Overwhelm because when you're overwhelmed, most of this defense mechanism kind of like kicks in. Yeah, uh, or five ways to destroy bad habits as well. So these are habits and there are ways that you can like kick these habits off. Now, you know my, five, you know my six, which is uh, denial, repression, projection, rationalization, regression and reaction. Those are six. So these two, these two um, resources can actually like help you to like start getting clear on this stuff. So you can click on the link below and download it for free. It is free and it is free. You can click the link, download it for free. And um, the last thing is, don't forget to subscribe to this um, to this podcast because the Diaspora Entrepreneurs Podcast is for you as well as it's mine. This house is your house. So thank you very much for listening to me and I'm very, very grateful. My name is Victor Osio and I'm signing out. Be great. And remember, if it has to be, it is your responsibility. So thank you very much.